guy you knew before All past guys, you know I love you more Took me by surprise, I must say When I found out yesterday You know I heard you through the grapevine Not much longer would you be mine Heard you through the grapevine and I'm just about to lose my mind Honey, honey, honey Through the great mind How much longer will you be my baby? supposed to cry, but these tears can hold inside, losing you would be the end of me, cause you mean that much to me, well you could have told me yourself, that you found somebody else, instead I heard it through the grapevine, not much longer would you be mine, heard it through the grapevine. And I'm just about to lose my mind Honey, honey, honey through the grapevine How much longer would you be my baby? Honey through the grapevine How much longer will you be my baby? They say don't believe half what you see And nothing of what you hear But I can't help but be confused So will you please tell me dear do you plan to let me go for some other guy you knew before? You know I heard it through the grapevine Not much longer would you be mine Heard it through the grapevine And I'm just about to lose my mind Honey, honey, heard it through the grapevine Not much longer would you be my baby Hi, here's a few hints and tips about how to pay I Heard It Through the Grapevine by Marvin Gaye. So, um, this is really dominated by a bass line. As soon as you hear it, you know the song. But that's a bit boring on an acoustic guitar. So what I do is I, I use the, um, the fourth string, open fourth string is like a drone, so that carries on with the background. And then you're playing sort of a D minor here, um, except you're only using so you're only using the uh, fourth, second, third, and fourth strings. And then up here, which is up to a sort of a, um, an F minor, E minor. So it goes from from the second and third frets up to the fifth and sixth frets down to the 4th and 5th frets, and then down, okay? So that's the first bit, and then... And, and what ways you could do it all together... It's a bit more interesting if you slightly syncopate it, so you go... Boom, da, 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 da. Okay, then the second um, part of the intro is... Um, I don't know really what this chord is, um, I think it's a C suspended A or something weird, but what it is is is, is just the uh, first and second strings on the first fret and the second string uh, on the third fret. And then it just goes up to the third fret and fourth fret. So. So I'm going to go through the main chords now. So it starts with the same D minor, F minor, E progression. I'm wondering how it went to bum 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 A to make me true. That's B, that's G seventh played with a bar bar three, and then um, we've got uh, where we've got the th third string on the uh, fourth fret and the 
um, fifth string on the fifth fret. And, and this is a shape that's going to be used on, on most of these chords. When dying in before, guys, A minor, A and four, took me by surprise. This is B minor seven, so what you do is you just drop these two down and slip them to the second one. Be yourself and you. Now we're going to play a, um, a D seventh, but rather play its normal position. I quite like playing it with a C seventh up a bit, so we're taking the C seventh shape and shifting it up. And so this is um, open, and then uh, we've got uh, third string, uh, first, second string, third fret, um, third string, fifth fret, fourth string, fourth fret, and fifth string, fifth fret. Be yourself, you know, I heard. You know, this is a, a D seventh, but what I'm doing is I'm taking that B seventh, moving it up to the fifth fret. Long, and this is an A seventh, but again, what I'm doing here is I'm just taking the same G, uh, G seventh and just moving. And, and, and that to get that lovely sort of backing vocal, you do it. Honey, 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 honey. And that's just knocking on the fifth fret and the fourth fret. Fourth, fifth string and the fourth string. Honey, 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 honey. And then, for the, if you want to do the backing vocals, heard it through the great but not much longer like that. What you do is you just go but between the the um, fourth string, fifth string, but it's through the great fine, how much longer would you be my baby? But it's through the great fine, how much longer would you be my baby? And if you want to do the ha ha ha, what that is, that is, uh, that's um, just um, first and second string, fifth fret, first and second string, third fret, and then a D minor shape, but rather than doing that, I just dropped the second um, second string off, so it's just um, first uh, fret, first string, and um, second fret, third string. So it goes... Down to B minor. You yourself, G minor. D minor. No, I heard it through the grapevine How much longer would you be mine? I heard it through the grapevine And I'm just about to lose my mind Honey, honey, I heard it through the grapevine How much longer would you be my baby? And those are the basic chords. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the rhythm of this. So this is a this is a song where you kind of really need to get into the groove, and um, and there's a certain amount of, um, sort of syncopation um, in the in the main verse, and you have to what I call break a bit early, and I'll show you what I mean. So when we're going here, we're going. Um, bet you're wondering how I knew about your plans to make me blue. So. Blue. Now I could just wait, but it's quite nice to, to try and sort of presage the fact that it's going to get a bit funky. So, bet you wondering how I knew about your plans to make me blue. You bring four of us guys, you know I love you more. And then we're going to go a bit funky, so we can sort of do a sort of break and four. By surprise, I must say. That I found out yesterday, you know I heard it through the grapevine. Much longer would you be my man? So what you got to really do is practice this. And you can play around with it. And you can, and so you can then sort of add some, um, some other sort of emphasis in the various parts of the song. So you go, but your plans to make me blue with some other guy you knew before. All those guys, you know, I love you more. Break that like, you do like a surprise. I must say that I found out yesterday, found out yesterday. You see, you can do yesterday, you know, I heard it through the green line. Not much longer will you be mine. You can, if you want to, you can just. 
to go on to the um, fifth uh, fifth fret with the bow, the pinky. Right through the grapevine, um, and then you can do a bit of sliding. Much longer will you be mine? This is great fine, and I'm just about to lose my mind. So, depending where you are with your guitar playing as well, what this really needs is, is quite a lot of um, left hand damping. So, you go. what that means is you're just sort of taking, just lifting your, um, lifting the, the chords off and just damping, damping string. Okay. Um, and then you can even do a bit of having off and on if you like. The main thing about playing this song is it's a very groovy song and you have to kind of get into the groove and sort of imagine that song playing in the back of your head and uh, thinking how you can sort of add all the little pieces on to re reflect the sort of background singers and all the twiddly bits. Uh, it's great fun time to play. I hope you enjoy it. Enjoy. <laughs> 